to come all the way here on my day off. That doesn't mean don't contact me. Are you dumb? But you told me to leave you alone. This is why I hate men. Now I'm 42 and still single. Little women got on social media and started spreading rumors that men are the reason why all these STDs exist in the world. On one of those Mondays, Jackaroo was conceived. Body count is higher than, than your age. This dude who loved to antagonize us, like he, he won't even respond to me now. Sounds like a you problem. Hey guys, welcome back to More to Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe, also smash that notification bell just to be sure you get on my videos as soon as I release them. Let's get right into this. Ladies, stop with these mind games. Say what you mean, mean what you say. A man can't read your mind and assume what it is that you're trying to portray in your message. Man X shows up at door because he didn't text her. I've had to come all the way here on my day off just because you haven't texted me. Sorry, what? Why are you acting like that? Well, because you... But why are you here? Because you haven't said anything to me for the past two weeks. Have okay. Have we been going this no more? Have you seen me? Okay, but you told me to not, to, 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 to not contact you anymore. Confusing! <laughs> That doesn't mean don't contact me. Are you dumb? Like, are you actually thick? You said to me you would appreciate no further contact. You broke up with me. That was me then. That doesn't mean you don't speak to me for two weeks to even care about my life. I could be dead for all you know. And you just don't care. You don't care about my family. You don't care about my pets. You don't care about my cat that you love so much. Okay, hold on, actually... yeah? How am I supposed to contact you, yeah, when you've blocked me? You blocked me off Instagram. You blocked my phone. How else am I supposed to contact you? You're acting like you don't know where I live. You could have come. You could have. You could have emailed me. It's delusional. I've got another Instagram. I've got three Instagram accounts. You haven't contacted me. How dare you? What do you mean? How dare I? You blocked me. You told me to not contact you. I've literally been waiting for two weeks, and you still haven't said anything to me. I'm because, heartbroken. The whole minute, yeah, because when I tried to message you and when I tried to call you, you just ignored me. I sent you I text after that. text after text after text, and then you sent me a big whole paragraph, yeah. Explaining, saying, oh, the feelings aren't the same anymore. And now you'd appreciate for me, for me to leave you alone. Congratulations. You plagued yourself. I don't know why you hate me so much. Like, I don't hate you. Hate I don't hate you. Like, I'm just trying to move on. You should have just killed me. I've been waiting two weeks. I could have been doing something else. I could have started dating again. No, I spent all of my time waiting on you to text me back. Oh, I've come all this way. And you couldn't even just come and knock at my door and speak to me. Face well, to face. because you live an hour away. Just because I've blocked you doesn't mean you're actually blocked. What's wrong with you? But you told me to leave you alone. This is why I hate men. I don't know why I even bother with you. Why? Why? Hold a minute, yeah. I've done nothing wrong. You told me to leave you alone. I've left you alone now. And now what? If someone told you to jump off a cliff, would you jump off a cliff? I told you to block me. It doesn't mean that you literally need to block me and never speak to me ever again. But I'm trying to give you what you want. That is not what I want, though. How many times do I have to tell you what I want? But the thing is, I, I don't know what you want. That's the thing. That's why I just left you alone, because you told me you want me to leave you alone, and I've left you alone. No. You can't even come and show your face. You can't what? even come downstairs and speak to me. Well, How yeah, because I don't want to. I hate you so much. What do you want me to do? Unblock me! But you blocked me! Well, I mean... You unblock. Hold on, I'll do right now. Man, you know what it sounds like? And bear with me for a minute, but I'm sure you've noticed it too. It comes across like she had another option. And that option didn't see her the way she seen him. He dropped her to the curb and kept moving. Now she wants this guy back because he what? Takes serious. So she's trying to monkey branch back. And he's not hearing it. He moved on. Congratulations to you, brother. And you, you played yourself. <laughs> Five ways women lose a good man and how you can avoid it. Let's get into it, ladies. Number one, taking them for granted. 
A man been so good to you for so long, you no longer see the value in him and what he does for you. Number two, not communicating well or effectively. Like expecting a man to read your mind and getting mad when he can't. Number three, being dismissive about how your behavior makes him feel or becoming overly defensive when you're being held accountable for your action. Rumor has it that women struggle with accountability. Mm. Number four, being self-consumed and unwilling to compromise. Being so hyper-focused on your laundry list of needs, desires, wants, that you neglect his needs in the process. Remember, a relationship is not just about you or one person getting their needs met. And number five, allowing your unaddressed trauma, your insecurity, make it hard for that man to enjoy his life and pursue his purpose in peace. Becoming insufferable. You know, it's wild, right? I understand it, I'm married. Same thing I seen with this other couple I showed, I said it was what, two, three days ago. They talked about how compromise and those small things, and you have to care for each other, thinking about what the other thinks about before they even think about it, right? Service, but it's all about serving me, 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 me. And guys aren't just going for it anymore. Guys aren't hearing it. Guys have departed and went their own way and said, you know what? It's not worth it. I'm done with you. This this is what happens, as you see in these next clips, right? When women get to a certain stage and a certain age where they start having no options left. Now it says, when I divorced my ex, he yelled that I would have no chance of finding a boyfriend. Now I'm 35 and still still single. No one really pays attention to me. Was that really true? Thirst trap. Posting thirst traps, hoping someone bites. Now she's 35. When I divorced my ex, he yelled that after 40, I would have no chance of finding a boyfriend. Now I'm 42 and still single. No one really pays attention to me. Was that really true? TikTok. TikTok indeed. Now they post this over and over and over. Thirst traps. But not realizing any man that responds wants to get him a piece. That's the guys that are going to hit you up. If that's what you want, you live a happy life. Young guys will hit you up until the sun burns. Right until the sun doesn't burn anymore, hitting you up trying to get some. If that's what you want, then go for it. When I divorced my ex, he yelled that after 50, I would have no chance of finding a boyfriend. Now I'm 53 and still single. No one really pays attention to me. Was that really true? And look at her. You notice that they get older and older and older. And they left their men. Their men's probably happy. Probably became a passport, bro, and rolled off into the sunset. Right? Because he still has a chance. Where well, these women are aging like milk. Congratulate yourself. This has to prove that this movement to hate all men has lowered your IQ by a million points. So a couple of women got on social media and started spreading rumors that men are the reason why all these STDs uh, uh, exist in the world. They stated that it's from men messing around with animals. And instead of doing a Google search to see that that's not true they actually ran with it and made multiple videos if it, if it wasn't for doctors getting on here and debunking this a lot of them would have never deleted their video then another thing i've seen a couple of y'all have these little fever blisters cold sores whatever y'all have on your lip in them videos you know that's herpes right you know that if you kiss somebody while that's active or you do something to somebody while that's active you can give somebody um genital herpes or uh it too right and you can google this yourself like this is not to shame nobody this is to show that a lot of y'all might actually have something but y'all don't actually want to google the truth y'all rather go off of things you hear on tiktok or things you hear from your friends y'all gotta do better wow but this happens to men all the time right you know how many men are blamed for things they didn't do. It's just like one of them things, like how guys all the time, well, back in the day, this used to happen, were blamed for crimes they didn't commit. Now, the evidence they have, the evidence they can show, can prove, right? There's so many different ways to prove that you didn't commit a crime, but they didn't have it back then. So these women, if doctors wouldn't have came and said, hey, look, this is a lie, they would still be going off of that lie. This is what happens to men all the time. And they wonder why 
guys don't care anymore. They wonder why guys have checked out. Look at the first video, right? Where the woman probably couldn't monkey branch to another guy that was better, came back to him, expected him to read her mind. When she probably was, when she was really playing him like a fool. This is what they do. Point the finger. When it should be pointed this way. You should have two fingers, one pointed at yourself. Check a rule. Okay, make this make sense. So I have a four and a five year old and a newborn, one baby daddy. My four and a five year old um, were at home and my, I was in the hospital with my newborn baby. So when my baby daddy picked me up, he had his girlfriend in the car. Did I know he had a girlfriend? Yes. We co-parent with our four and a five year old. So on Mondays, he drops the kids off. On Mondays, he picks the kids up. He usually comes inside on Mondays and plays with his kids or packs their stuff or bathes, whatever he tells her that he's doing while she sits outside. Jackaroo. Anyway, so while she sits outside for about 45 minutes. Now, on one of those Mondays, Jackaroo was conceived. Um, and then we had Jackaroo. He was still living with his girlfriend, but we had Jackaroo. Were you trying to play the girl? play him you played yourself right the man moved on you didn't let him move on you i can tell one of them things i was in one before you literally seduced him gave it to him probably yanked his pants down and went and went to work and started giving him that guac guac and the man couldn't resist who's gonna resist that right that's what you did and then you're on the internet. I don't I don't get who she's trying to embarrass. I think it's the girlfriend. But you see how petty that is? Why are you still fighting over a man that's moved on? And this is why guys always say, when guys talk about women and their exes, they say, choose better. You should have chose better. You chose to have a baby with a man that's no longer interested. Making progress. Yes. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> this is when she openly reveals... Her body count is higher than than your age. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. You do not have to. Oh, sh here we go again. Sir, let's just be honest. Nobody is worried about you. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Like, I promise you, nobody is worried about you, honey. That was February of last year, so it has been over a year. We do not care. And I was relatively new to making TikTok content. Um, I didn't know anything about the passport bros. I just saw this joker and I went to his account and it's every video antagonizing women. Um, so I don't like that. I don't like that. I like women. So of course you don't feminazi. Oh. I started responding to him. Then I realized that there were other women that he was beefing with because, you know, he's a real alpha man. Um, and I believe that's how I started bonding with uh, Voodoo Bay, um, the Petty Auntie, and uh, Breezy. You see that? She got excited because she got clicked in with a woman from the community talk. These women bash passport bros. Some of the women are on the outside to be clicked in. It's sad. And the, the thing about males his age, you know, you have to wonder, do they ever think that their behavior of antagonizing and fighting with women and not having that same energy for men, do they think that women find that attractive? Why would he be walking around starting fights with men? All he did was, all he's doing is stating facts. If a woman has more bodies than her age, that's a problem, especially if they're around your age. If a woman is in her 40s and she has more bodies than her age, and it's usually like that, right? By the time you hit old age, if you've been active, which a lot of women are active until they're like 40, and then they want to settle down and get married, right? After they've been with the whole community. Like what? high value man high value man or what um man grown mature man with integrity goes back and forth with 
with women like that. They are extremely upset because they can't find women, but they don't <laughs> look at their behavior and actually think like women would find that attractive. I am doing the same thing. Like, how can they wonder why they can't find a woman? That That's not attractive. That is not even beta male behavior. That is below beta male behavior. That is so weak and not masculine. And a year later, who knew we would be here where they created this really silly beta male movement where they're antagonizing women and people have collectively pulled together to shut it down and shame them back into the shadows where they belong. Um, I hope, I hope that they learn their lesson because this dude, this dude who loved to antagonize us, like he, he won't even respond to me now. Wait a minute, who are you? Um, they tag him, <laughs> he's tagged to my videos and things. I'm always expecting a response um, from him, but lately I have gotten, it's just been complete silence from him. So I think he's probably feeling it from all directions with the way we've seen him kind of losing it a little bit. Guys, don't worry about any nasty, below average Western women who try to shame you for your preferences. They don't qualify for you anyway. The vast majority of them are overweight, unattractive, underdeveloped, they couldn't keep a man if they tried, and they have horrible attitudes. So why would you even deal with them in the first place? What you do is you focus your attention when you want to settle down on traditional foreign women. Guys, you're going to be a lot, lot happier. Just let these horrible, horrible Western women die alone. <laughs> and for me, that's that's well deserved. He, he asked for that. I'm proud of us who were relentless, who banded together to take down this silly little movement. Like, good, good for us. And if they come back, we'll do it again, won't we? <laughs> Nothing shut down. See, the thing is, they think they can stop you guys, right? That's what they're looking for. They think they can stop you guys. And they don't realize it's, it's never going to stop. Why? Why is that? Because men are looking for happiness, cooperative woman. This is not something new. This is a long pastime. This is what guys have done thousands and thousands of years ago, just the be in, in the beginning of time. It's never going to stop. Why would a guy stick around for maybe 500,000, 200,000 good ones who are probably most of them are taken up and not have access to billions who love American men. Like, are you thinking? I don't think these women are literally thinking. The The market is open. Like, why would we stay home? It just doesn't make sense. You know, my cousin just came out here to Thailand, right? And it took him coming out here for his first time for his eyes to open up. He came. Now when I speak to him on the phone, his eyes are lit up. And I talked to him about business. He's like listening and he's ready to do the business. Why is that? Because he sees. He can finally see his eyes are open. And more guys have their eyes open. And their nose are wide open. And they want to experience this too. That sounds like a you problem. When men are complaining, they have to go abroad to find submissive wives now. That sounds like a you problem. <laughs> It's wild, right? These women actually think they're submissive, right? There's not many submissive women in the States. Y'all don't even like the word submissive. Y'all think it means you're being trampled down on the foot when that's not what it means, right? Women are meant to submit to men. And men as well are meant to submit to their wives. It's equal submission. And, and actually not submit, but to be over the family, right? And submit to God. And the whole family is supposed to submit to God, but that's all right. We'll let it, we'll let you keep believing the way you want to believe and thinking true submission is something like slavery. Because you know what? If you claim that we're going over making these women slaves, yeah, they're going to be happy slaves. Because guys are, because these women do want money too. Yes, you, you got us. They want money too. But 
that's not all they want. They want family. They want to make babies with us, right? They want to procreate with different species. <laughs> I said that sounds off. They want to procreate with different races. But that's just what they want to do. I remember months ago, this Filipina said, I want to have a passport bro's baby. He won't, he just won't give me a baby. That's all I want, which is proof that guys need to check out. Because that right there shows and proves, and we all need to realize. This is the way. Passport bros. Passport. No. It's definitely more to life than being around you. He ain't lying.